Blue, the Lumberjacks tonight uh, head into a two-game series against the Salt Lake Golden Eagles, a team like Muskegon uh, that is very hot. You've seen Salt Lake twice this year. Your thoughts about the Golden Eagles heading into this series? I think they got a, a very physical team, and uh, I think what we have to do is we have to skate and uh, get on their defense early, you know, and uh, dump the puck in and get some, you know, good quality shots. They, they're playing very well right now, you know, a lot better than they did um, the win we had against them. They came into our rink and stole one out of our rink. So we're planning on, you know, to get that one back, and uh, we're not looking ahead to, to tomorrow's, tomorrow night's game, but uh, we're really concentrating on getting the win tonight. Steve, the Lumberjacks have been really on a roll of late. They've won the last four in a row. Also, you guys are 8-1-1 one, and one in your last ten games. Are we ever enjoying this? And on the road, this? your team is 5-0-1 oh, in its last six, including an IHL best 9-2-2 two, two road mark overall. What do you think it takes to be a good road club? What, what is the success behind the Lumberjacks on the road, do you think? I think it's just uh, preparation, you know, like you have to uh, really be able to come to play and not worry about the other team's rank, you know, just uh, pretty well pre prepare yourself the way you do at home and uh, play the st same style of play you play at home. And I think that's why we've been so successful is because we've been playing the same on the road as we have at, have at home. And the key to success lately has been the offense. Uh, for the year, your team is averaging well over 5.5 goals a game. And in the last three games, you're averaging over seven goals a game, uh, getting a 10-5 victory, a 7-5 victory, and then a 6-3 win the other night against Milwaukee. That's big. It's been a, a, a season big. of high big, offense for your club. Big stuff. Well, that, you know, that's that's good. I think I uh, this is a goal scorer, this guy. We're scoring so well is that uh, I think we play uh, defense pretty well, too, and that makes the other club open up. And when that happens, you're going to get more chances, you know, because they're taking, they're taking, uh, you know, risky chances, you know, to get some good quality shots on our net. And I think that's that's why, especially as of late, that we've been scoring so well. One of the high scorers on the year uh, is yourself, Steve. You're among the Lumberjack leaders in scoring with 24 points in 24 games. Lately, you have a five-game scoring streak going uh, with eight points in that span. Thoughts about how you've been playing lately? I think. Uh, the chances are going in a little bit better for me as of lately. For a while there, I was having a lot of tough luck around the net, and uh, I just, you know, kept saying to myself, and Ricky was telling me, you know, keep working hard, and they're going to start, they're going to start going in for you, and, and he was right, and hopefully I can carry it, carry it on, you know, for uh, quite a few more games. 11 goals, 13 assists for those 24 points in your first 24 games in this year rookie season as a professional. That's a pretty good mark there. Are you happy with your progress thus far? Is this where you about maybe would like to be or expected yourself to be scoring-wise? About the beginning of the season, I uh, I uh, wanted to be about a point a game. You know, I didn't know what to expect. You know, i never seen a game down in the uh, International League. And, uh, okay. I said to myself, you know, if I can average around a point a game, that'll be pretty good for your first year. But... I think with the chances that I've been having, and uh, hopefully that I'll continue having, I can maybe do better than I thought I would. And um, that's you know you always got to think that way. You got to hi. You want to do you better ready? all the time, and am I getting my picture taken? But as far taken? as the points Don't I have so stop. far, you know that's about right where I wanted to be. And you've been playing for quite a while now with veteran Scott Rule on the left side with you at center. That has to help, having a veteran with great offensive capabilities like Scott on your line. Well, Scott, he's a great player, and you can, if you can get him the puck, you know, he's got a, he's got a great shot. And, and uh, he likewise, he tries to get me the puck. You know, he's a, he uh, handles the puck very well, and uh, he's very easy to play with. You know, he uh, pats you on the bum, and, you know, he doesn't get down on you too much. And, you know, especially myself, you know, I got ups and downs as, as a rookie, and he, you know, he's always there to keep me going and, and push me and, uh, you know, if I have a bad game, he'll tell me, you know, there's always, uh, tomorrow's a new day, so that, that, that helps a lot. Steve, since this is your rookie year, how would you rate the transition from the Canadian junior ranks to the pros for you? I think it's, uh, it's better in all aspects of the game. Um, it's faster and, and it's more physical. The biggest uh, thing for me that I had to learn is uh, getting in the open, you know, like... Uh, the defensemen are a lot, lot stronger, and and to fight them off, it's a lot harder for me. I'm a smaller player. I hope player Cameron's and, listening. And I think uh, I've learned to do that Getting better now in the since, open. You know, since the beginning of the season, and where I was having a little more trouble. But uh, I think overall, it's it's more intense because it, it's a business, and you have to you have to come to play every night, and uh, it's it's you know uh, it's a little fast faster like a second faster you have to do everything a little bit quicker and uh, 
goaltenders are better. It's it's better in all aspects. <laughs> Steve, we talked a bit about your. <laughs> oh, geez, now we're on the car quit. <laughs> puts you out a lot in penalty killing. Is uh, defense something you work hard on and pride yourself in? Well, that's uh, what caught Pittsburgh's eye when, when I was in junior. Uh, nearly won uh, the national championships up there in the Memorial Cup. I was the uh, type of center that uh, you know did a lot of checking. I I also did you know a fair bit of scoring in that, but uh, they were impressed with me on the draws and, and killing penalties and checking other teams' uh, best centermen or the best line. And uh, that's something that I want to continue impressing them with because, uh, you know, like I said, that's what caught their eye and that's what they, that, that's the type of player they want me to be, so. What does it take for someone who is relatively small in stature like yourself to be a player like that, to go hard and uh, do some heavy checking and, and give yourself defensively? Does that take extra effort from you, do you think? Well, I think uh, being a smaller player, you have to work that much harder and you have to maybe be that much uh, smarter in certain times of the game and plays of the game and you have to use your head more you can't go in there and and uh you know overpower oh, defense and that you have to maybe outsmart them and i think uh, pretty well you have to uh work a little bit harder you know it just it just takes that much more work Steve, this is really the first time that the Muskegon fans have had a chance to hear from you, so let's talk about your beginnings in hockey. You're from Camrose, Alberta, and tell us how you got started in the game and how you worked your way up the ranks. Well, I started, you know, at an early age like most of the players did, and I uh, played my minor hockey in Camrose there, and I pretty, well, I lived on a farm, so we had dugouts and stuff like that. We'd shovel off, so I did a lot of that, a lot of uh, skating on my, on my own time, and then, um, after my minor hockey in Camrose, I went to Prince Albert in the WHL, and I played four years there. And I had a, you know, I had four good years there. We won a national championship there, and we went to the league final, and so that's pretty well how I got my start to my pro career. Now you mentioned you won the national championship, that being of course the Memorial Cup. And uh, the Stanley Cup is the epitome of the National Hockey League, and certainly the Memorial Cup is the, the uh, peak of the uh, junior hockey ranks in Canada. Of course, there's a big competition between the Quebec League, the Ontario League, and the Western League. And your team won it in 1984-85, the Prince Albert Raiders under Terry Simpson. Your thoughts about that? That had to be a big thrill for you. Well, that, you know, that's the highlight of my career so far. You know, it's something like that. Uh, I'll never forget it. I... Uh big moment in that I scored the winning goal there too so that that was always a, you know, that'll always be special and uh, we had a, we, this team this year in a lot of ways is a lot like that team we're really close uh, you know a lot of great guys on the team and it was a lot like that back then you know it was a little bit different because we were a lot younger but uh, it's got that same kind of knit uh, you know as a team Steve, uh, of course, a lot of people feel that the Western Hockey League is uh, one of the better leagues in the junior ranks, and I guess looking at the last few years, the last two out of the three Memorial Cup winners, your team, and then last year the, uh, the Medicine Hat Tigers are the winners of the Memorial Cup. Do you feel that the best hockey in the Canadian juniors is coming out of the Western League? Maybe a little bit prejudiced, I don't know. Well, I think, uh, you know, you, it's pretty well equal like it's hard i think our top teams maybe be maybe a little bit better than uh, ontario's top teams but theirs are more consistent like we'll have we'll have a few teams that aren't as good as you know say their bottom place teams but uh i think uh in preparation to the nhl i think it's a better league because you got that travel and the guys get used to it as far as that like i'm not saying that there's better players than that but i think it prepares you better if you for for the NHL and, and, and pro hockey. How about Steve Goddess off the ice? What do you like to do in your spare time? Well, I go to a lot of movies and uh, pretty well hang out with my roommates and we play a lot of ping pong and stuff like that. Uh, we don't go out too much. We uh, we pretty well stay together and hang out. I guess there's, you don't want to get in too much trouble. In the summer, do you go back to Camrose? Yeah, uh, I go back home. Uh, we got a farm back there, and my dad's I into the harness horse business, and I like to do. I like to do be around the horses during the summer, and uh, hopefully after after my career, I can get into that. 
Finally, Steve, your thoughts about the rest of the season. Obviously, you'd like to end this year with uh, the Turner Cup for the Lumberjacks, or maybe for yourself, get a recall by the Pittsburgh Penguins. But uh, are you a goal-oriented person? Have you set any goals you'd like to accomplish this year statistically or anything else? Well, I think uh, pretty well. I just got to concentrate on working hard and uh, not worry too much about being called up. Like it's, uh, it's an obvious goal, but I think it distracts you too much. You got to pretty well uh, concentrate on what you're doing down here. And then if I, if I spend the rest of the year down here, my goal is to to win the league and win the Turner Cup, and that's, you know, that's the ultimate goal down here. So, and as far as uh, personal stats. I just want to keep playing good and, and um, cash in on my opportunities and, and take it from there. Okay, thanks a lot, Steve, for stopping by. Uh, best of luck to you and your teammates the rest of the year. You're off to a good start. Keep it up. Thanks, Bob. Steve Goddess, the fine rookie centerman of the Lumberjacks, my guest in this intermission. Right now we'll pause and then come back with more hockey right after that. You're listening to Muskegon Lumberjacks Hockey on the Wave, 98.3 FM. There we are. Oh, Any I got, comments? I got a tick. That's uh, what it, what you know, it, it uh, very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for taking. Too bad it. it's a two-part series.